Welcome back to Whispered Hills 22. I am Black Hair Fist, and this is our Use Machinery Challenge. We are back on Whispered Hills 22. It's December, and I'll be honest, I have absolutely nothing to do. Um, other than the only thing I've got to do in this in game day is fertilize that. It's not even on the growth stage that I need to worry about it. I think we're going to skip through December. Um, when I say I think we're going to skip through December, that is exactly what we're going to do. I actually, prior to coming up to record on here, I um, I came up just to move this. I was going to take it back down and sort of have a mooch about, but um, the only thing that I need to do is we'll go and have a look, see if there's anything in the used machinery that's gone on overnight. Uh, we did skip a bit of the day from the last episode, um, episode 7, I think. This is episode 8, isn't it? Yeah, so episode 7, we did skip through some of the day. Um, that video still ended up being 40 minutes long, I don't know how. Like, I thought it was going to be high 20s and it was like 40 minutes long. I've just done the editing for it and uploaded it now. Right, use me... Oh my word. I mean, already I know we're buying it. 100% I know we're buying it. Because we're going to need one anyway. And why not get this one? Um, why is that? I mean, we're going to get that, aren't we? We're going to get the crawler track. Um, I think I prefer that. I'm not sure about the colouring like. Wyoming cowboy. What makes a Wyoming cowboy? Oh, it's stuff on top. Uh, tell you what, we'll just. I don't know what that does, but we'll try it. And we're definitely getting some. Oh my god, these cost a fortune. <laughs> um, right, we'll get the oversized one. Uh, don't like that. I mean, that looks mean, to be fair, doesn't it? God, how many options are on here? I've not used one of these. Which one did I like? There was one that I thought looked really good. That was one of these ones. Let's go for that. Um, US style exhaust, double exhaust. Right, US double. Right, happy with that. Engine. So we've got 365. We've got... It's not putting any price on it. Why wouldn't we have that? We 100% have that. Right, colour. I definitely want... 100% I want a different colour. I actually like the colour that... It came in, to be honest, but I don't know what colour. I don't know what colour that was. Um, when I say it came in, the colour that it showed up on a. 
on the screen as it was at that. Some, what colour is that? A dark grey. I do like that one. Let's go for that. Um, there's no vinyl, so that doesn't matter. None of that matters. And this is it like a. Is that changing much? Oh yeah. Right. Now this is just under fifty grand. We are hundred percent buying it. Uh, we don't need that. So let's go and have a look. See what we just bought. We still skip in today, regardless. I mean, that looks like an absolute beast, doesn't it? Let's go and get it repaired. I was just thinking, I was going to say, I can't remember how close the um, the pickup was. I love that colour. I really, really like that colour. Um, right, that's not much. Just over a grand to repair it. Right, let's leave that there. Like I said, we'll skip through and we will be back probably in January, but if something good comes up in the second half of December, we'll um, we'll come back to that. We've came through to January. The, there was actually a couple of things in the second half of December that were interesting. However, not something that took me fancy. There was a case tractor in there. Um, it was a 145 horsepower case tractor. Went up to 175, depending on the engine. I didn't actually go and have a look at it. Because I knew we weren't going to take it. It was going to be no different to what we've got now. Uh, and there was also a sugarcane harvester that was in there. But again, um, not something that we're interested in. So... Let's go and have a look to see what's here now. Uh, right. And there it is. There is. Well, I say there it is. There is something. That. I mean, we are going to get it. 370 horsepower. We can get that up to. We need it. We've got no options. Um, that we don't need now. We've got a truck. That I really want to use. I was really considering that for No Man's Land. Um, but I think I said that I thought there might be a horsepower issue with it um, on the hills on Norman's Land. Right. We don't need extra fuel tanks. Oh, do we? Oh, do we? That's... Uh... Something that we're going to find out, I suppose. Um, attach a three-point... Oh my god, can you only get that? You have to pay 11 grand for a three point link. Are you having me on? I mean, we've got no option. So. They've kind of got us by the short and curlies, haven't they? Um, additional lights, yeah, we might as well go for additional lights, we don't need that. Engine size, we are going to get the 370 horsepower model. Windows. Um, we'll go for standard version. Aussie extended. A US version, well... I don't know what the difference is, but we'll go for the US version. We'll set up. Um, we're not paying. I mean, them standards look ridiculous, don't they? Can we not just get a one big chunky tyre? Wide wheels, yeah. That's what we want. We definitely want that. I mean, we might end up getting the skinnies, but not yet. Uh, 50, 58743. 
let's purchase that and let's go and see how much it's going to cost us to get it fixed up and then we've got a job to do straight away with it I mean I'm not a massive fan of articulating tractors to be honest I say I'm not a fan I've just there's one in the base game the um, Russell Mass shot I find really really frustrating to use um, 1700 that's not bad at all tell you what let's sit in here I wonder if it was something internally for the US version compared to the Aussie version do, do you know what I don't even know what I didn't even see what model it was 8960 didn't even look so it only does 99 mile hour however I'm not overly fussed about that because we're not going to be doing I was going to say we're not be going to be doing carting with it but the ridgy track finds it really difficult doesn't it um, we need what we need what we do need now is a trailer for the uh, for the wagon that's what we need so if one of them comes up, we'll have it. Oh, that's right, you just try to go down the inside of one of these. That ain't going to end well, is it? Do you know what, I need to find out where this silage is at as well. What I do know is that we've run out of... Um... I need to get this on. Right, we're 100%. Are we 100% for both? Yes, so whether it be in this episode or in the next episode, we need to get that sold. Do you know, aren't we in prime time as well? For, in fact, there might be a couple of things that we are. Bread, I looked at. Bread, we need to get our bread sold this episode. Um, silage, three, four, yeah, we need to get that sold as well. That This isn't what I planned on doing. I planned on going and fertilising that field over there. But it needs to happen, doesn't it? Tell you what. It seems we planned on doing it. Let's get this off. Take that off. Put this over here for now. And let's jump in this. Oh, by the way, I was already starting to waver on it. When I said about not buying, buying a new piece of land, I also said about that field number 10, didn't I? Um, the one that had the oats in. That never even gives a chance to buy it when it was... Um, when it was uh, fully... I can't go over that. When we're going, when we're going, I need to go around. When it was ready to harvest, it just went from the last growth stage into harvested. So yeah, didn't have a chance to buy it when it was ready to harvest. Um, there is two others, two other fields. They've both got barley in actually. They're both in the same growth stage where it's the last one, and in February they'll be ready to go. There's a good chance I'm going to buy one of them. They're both just under 500 grand. Um, but we need... We need more... Uh, either wheat, barley, sorghum or oats for the flour. I know we've run out producing flour. I don't know if we've still got enough for... Um, So we've still got flour, but we, we're not producing flour anymore, which is going to be an issue. Right, I mean straight away, this is pulling this absolutely fine, which is what we wanted. I mean, we wanted to stay on course, like... There we go. 
this is the thing I don't like about articulating tractors. That I find them really difficult. Like I can't get this in a straight line. Yeah. So with them field, if we make some good money on this silage, um, I will buy one of the new fields. I was already, I was already sort of tempted anyway. That was before I even remembered about the silage. Now that that silage is there, and we'll make some money off that bread as well. You know, that bread's at a good price. We'll make some money off that. If it's like three hundred, uh, sorry, three thousand an odd per thousand liters. That's definitely worth doing. Right, we will do uh, a time lapse. Get this done, because. We've got plenty of other stuff to do. What I might do is get the bread sold today and then get the silage done in another episode because there's obviously some planning around that as well. So, sit back, relax, and have a look. Just about done with this. Um, I mean, it's been done in these as well. This is what we needed. We might not have needed an articulating tractor, but we did need 300 and odd horsepower, 370 horsepower, whatever it is. Um, I know there's some bits down there. I'm not that fussed. Not on. Not on grass field like this. Um, yeah, I mean, this has just made it so much easier. I think, just in general, it's going to t make life so much easier. And now we can use, for the time being at least, we can use the Ridgy Track as our yard tractor. We'll keep that front loader on it. Um, I know I said I'm not bothered, but it was there to do. We'll keep the front loader on it. And, yeah, it can just be used around the yard itself I mean we've got which is what we're actually going to use now I think we've got the pickup that we can do sort of um, errands with we've got the TLX that I can't wait to start using I'm hoping in fact what I'm gonna I'm gonna look at a way of getting um, using that for the silage, to transport the silage, whether that's hiring a trailer, which it's probably, I'm probably going to have to, I mean, God, I'll get really lucky if one comes up, but if it does, it does, if it doesn't, then I'll, I'll just hire one, um, and then we'll have to look at a way of how we're going to sell that silage, the silage, I think, this is, this is another thing I hate about articulated tractors, I think we're going to um, do the silage in the next episode, to be honest. Let's get this round here. I don't think... Oh, has it? In fact, I was going to say that tractor, I didn't think it had straps on, but it might. I haven't used this one since 19. I don't think. Oh no! In fact, I might have used it in um, in New Belleran. Right, that doesn't have straps on it. Does this auto loader have straps on it? No. Right, there's nothing else in there. I might just be able to put them in here, like... What we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to sell the, um... We're going to sell the bread. Now, bread is best priced at the bowling restaurant. Which is there. So we haven't got that 
that long a journey really. We could maybe just especially not at 74 mile an hour. Um we can maybe just uh get a few in the back and then do maybe two or three trips. Right, how long till I crash this? It's not gonna be long, is it? I think we all know that at some point this is going on its roof. I really like having a pick up again. Just having a vehicle to go around like at this speed, just do errands like this at a decent speed, which is I mean it's not the reason why the fast track's my favourite track that I just I love the fast track in real life. Um Where are we at? I bakery. But I just love the fact that on here whoa I forgot about you. I love the fact that on here the fast track you can go like 45 mile an hour and actually get stuff done quickly. When Earth's a bakery. It's not the one I thought it was. There it is. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. Right, how many of these are we going to be able to load up? And it's still got ah, still plenty of flour going. I know I said we were low on flour, but we're just not producing it, which I think is the issue. Can we get that turned? We're not going to get many in here, are we? No. I wonder if we'll get more by putting that down. We might get another one on the back and then may maybe go sideways from then on. Checking. This might be genius. I mean, it might make us go flying as well, but it could be genius. Are those back ones not going to strap. Right, I don't think that one's going to strap, is it? That's oh, not giving us the option to take it off. Right. Let's see if we can go without tipping this. So we want to go. We want to go down past the train station, then along. I mean, you can feel already the weight on it. We don't want any shenanigans like that traffic there. So get across here, and we just want to go round very carefully. I mean, you can see just by the way we're pulling away, it's um, a decent amount of weight on it. First time I've been up here. Right, hopefully, we should get over 16 grand for this. Yeah, 16 and a half grand. Fantastic. Right, we'll get that up. Let's get back down, get the other stuff loaded up, and we'll, um, we'll make the rest of our money. The remaining 2,000 litres. So we're looking at what? Another 2,000? 2, uh, 6,600, something like that. Which is nothing to be sniffed at whatsoever. I mean, that's taken us up to 
about 23 grand isn't it just off the bread alone which goes somewhere of um, repaying about the 160 grand that we spent on the production factories just to get this bread stop stop that Right, there we go. Yeah, 5,600 odd. Um, so that takes us up to 465. Nothing will have changed on there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go and have a look, see what else we can do today. I might, depending on how long we've recorded, I might come back and end the video and then use this in game day and the next in game day to shift the silage. We'll see. It all depends on how long I've been recording on here. So, two seconds and you'll find out what's happening. We are indeed going to end the episode here. It's going to be a bit of a shorter one. Like, it's going to be under 30 minutes, which for me really is absolutely unheard of. Um, we've managed actually to cram quite a lot in in a short period of time. We've uh, we bought that TLX, didn't we? Um, this we bought that we have bought the 8960 so we now have a large 370 horsepower tractor um, which is totally more suitable than our ridgy track which to be in fairness we're going to keep the ridgy track anyway um, and we've made let's see how much we've made on the bread I did say a figure didn't I when we went so 23 grand we've made on the bread which is nothing to be sniffed at whatsoever like I said it goes somewhere of um, paying us back for the for the uh, buildings that we bought for the uh, productions the next episode is going to be all about selling that silage it's we're going to probably do it over two days because we've got it on times three it might take that long I'm gonna have to have a look see what if any bits of equipment we can hire um i want a bigger trailer so we can take more at a time as well i don't want to be using that the trailer we've got uh this one here where it only takes twenty thousand liters not a chance we've got like over six hundred thousand liters of um silage to shift so all those however are decisions or problems or however you want to look at it for another day this i got used for the first time love it it's nice to have it back. I've um, not used it on 22. Used it on 19 a lot. So we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again in the next one.